What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm excited about this reaction because about 13 to 14 years ago when I was a junior in high school, I was, I'm was i pretty sure I was a junior, maybe just ending junior year or something, something around there, uh, I bought my first expensive thing online and uh, it was about a buck fifty or maybe a buck twenty, something like that and it was a Fender Squire Strat, which I still have and I'll probably always have. Um, but the main reason I bought this at the time was because I was really getting into rock and roll. I was really getting into rock and roll and I was listening to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers play live on YouTube and I was watching them and the chemistry that John Frusciante has with Flea, Chad Smith, and Anthony Kiedis, it was just, it was just amazing to me. Um, the musicianship, the solos, I was falling in love with the solos, every solo I would see live. I've seen almost all of his solos on the web, <laughs> and um, they were definitely a big inspiration, if not the biggest inspiration for me to get a guitar. So, it's been a long time since I've seen like something new from the Chili Peppers. I've got a glimpse of like one of their new songs that they had like the past year or two. I know they kind of just formed, the John Frusciante just uh, came back, replacing uh, Josh Klinghoffer, um, you know. Um, in recent time, like, I forget this was like a year or two ago, time flies, but, um, I, I kind of was, I was really busy in that time period and I didn't get to, I didn't get to see a lot of the new chili pepper stuff. Sorry if I'm a little congestion-y coming off a of cold. Um, so this is, this is going to be very fresh for me, especially seeing John Frusciante live and it's something people are going crazy about, so. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised I haven't, like, dove into the Chili Peppers. I guess I, I had so much of them. I was such a big fan for so long. Um, you know, you kind of give it a break sometimes, and now I'm happy to get back into it. And I'm sure there's a lot of other gems I haven't seen yet. So, um, yeah, this should be fun. This is Eddie, Epic Solo by John Frusciante. Live, Austin City, Limits, 2022. Let's get to it. Beginning sounded like, by the way, dun, 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 for a second. Very melodic. It's got the Taylor Hawkins drum kit still. So love it. about to go up it's about to go up uh it sounds 
it sounds like the Red Hot Chili Peppers with John Frusciante in it, and I love it. Um, it's, it's, what more could you want, you know? And I'm, I know it's going to be amazing. You know, Chili Pepper songs are have like you know a really a good journey to it. They're not just uh, you know chorus and that's it, the end. <laughs> they got like you know a nice bridge, a nice breakdown. They have some really big change ups sometimes in their music. Awesome, man. That was very, those were very clean finger taps and very clean playing from John Frusciante. He was very, he's very, um, like freestyle with his stuff. Like sometimes he's very sporadic and obviously sometimes you, you practice like certain solos and different things right before you get on stage, but he's known to really go out there and take risks. Sometimes he, you know, it'll sound a little rough around the edges, but overall it always sounds amazing and like fresh, like a fresh freestyle. Got like a nice improv, but, um, yeah, awesome, and it's so impressive. Like you know, he's still doing that. Just coming back with them, um, he's still you know he's older now. They're all older. He has the fi he has the finger strength. Cause for Shante, you know, a long time ago when he first left the band, he was a, he was a big heroin addict, and he lost a lot of strength in his fingers and his arms and stuff like that. And it kind of kind of limited it limited. Ugh, I can't <laughs> tongue twister there. It kind of limited his ability to uh, do certain things with the guitar, so he kept, you know, with more slower, nice, melodic stuff, And uh, but it always worked for him. He always made it sound amazing, and he changed it up a lot. It was never one-dimensional, and uh, here he is still doing his thing. Sounds great so far. I'm I'm just noticing Flea's uh choice of um clothing over here, but uh you know that's Flea. He he's always he's always dressing a little crazy. Sometimes he doesn't have clothes on. Sometimes he has no clothes at all as you as you know. We've heard this before. We've heard him just do a, a style like that before in some of his solos. Awesome. Don't forget me. That's like the don't forget me solo he does.
Ooh, he's hearing the wind come out the marshals. <laughs> he's feeling the wind come out the marshals. Wow. Classic flea, classic flea with the thank you. That that was classic for Shanti. Classic Chili Peppers right there. That was an awesome performance. That was an awesome performance. And what's this? They got a little bit more coming up. Oh, bass solo. Oh, I think that's it. Yep, that, that ends it. I thought it was going to be nine minutes. Okay, it was a little shorter. I thought that, I thought this was going to be content over here. It's just uh, fill-ins. So yeah, that was awesome. It was it was classic Chili Peppers, classic Krishanti. Um, and I've, I've heard that run before that, or those licks he was doing before, like on a Don't Forget Me solo. It was very similar. And, you know, did you guys catch that at all? Uh, some of you long-time Krishanti fans. That, that was pretty dope see him doing some of the same stuff but it does sound fresh but it, it does sound like you know their old style it sounds very natural for Shanti to do that coming up with chili peppers so it's nothing like too new but it's new at the same time but it's, it's just you know if it ain't broke why fix it but I'm sure there's some you know new stuff out there that sounds a little bit more fresh they always they always have some of those in their albums and um, that's why they're so great they, they mesh so well together like I said they were one of the first um, reasons one of the main reasons I got my first guitar and guys I actually plan on making my own custom guitar using kiesel.com once I hit 1,000 subscribers so definitely smash that subscribe button um, I'm gonna put the process on YouTube and it's gonna be my first guitar that's not Fender or the Stratocaster model and it will be a solid body electric guitar um, probably seven string we'll see I got a ways to go I'm not even at 100 subscribers yet, but <laughs> I just kind of started pushing these out, so it's it's gonna be fun. I love creating things, and um, yeah, let me know below in the comments what you think about the Chili Peppers as of late. Let me know what you think I should check out next, and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, guys, stay infinite.